Hi guys! So yeah, today we're painting uh, a, bon a moth. Um, I really love painting moths. Um, recently I've mostly painted them uh, uh, with oils. So yeah, it's really nice to experiment and see what they look like and what to color. So yeah, I think it's a really nice subject. And you know, uh, it's really fun and you know, moths uh, look like butterflies, um, but I think, you know, they're really, really cool. So, I'm gonna show you how to paint them. And also, if you're a beginner, I think uh, it's, a, it's a really good subject as well, uh, because we will be using a limited palette. Uh, you know, since... Uh, well, the moth I the moth I picked out has mostly um, brown and black and some uh, gray, so we won't be using too many colors. So yeah, I think when you're starting out, it's really good if you're painting uh, with a limited palette. So yeah, for now I'm just mostly, um, you know, uh, fixing a little bit the um, the sketch and the outlines. Just making sure that everything is um, symmetrical because uh, you know the wings must be the same size and same shape because uh, there is uh, so much uh, symmetry in uh, moths and in butterflies. Also what is really cool about the moths is that you know they have this um, spots on their wings and they look like they have eyes there so that's beautiful and also maybe a little uh, creepy. Also, I was reading, um, well, actually, not reading exactly. I've been listening to an audiobook, and you know, there was this um, witch where she has moths to slide around on people. So yeah, I thought that was uh, it's really cool and I like the witchy vibe of the moss. So I'm just uh, using the uh, Allegro palette from Zimmer Supplies and it has all these really nice um, browns and earthy tones. So we're just um, mixing some of the browns, uh, we're trying to transfer the colors to our palette. And also, I have there some, some grey uh, wash. So, um, and I'm also using the Squirrel Mix Brush from the uh, Turner set from Zener Supplies. And, you know, we're starting with the body of the moth. Painting some breast strokes. And it has some stripes on her body, so that's why I'm just leaving um, a blank space. Also, I think moths are kind of hairy, so I'm just giving some some texture to the body. Okay.
So yeah, uh, it's always good to you know check on your reference just to make sure you have the right shades and you're doing okay. And also make sure you have a good reference that that the photo isn't too light or you know um, too dark. So you will be able to observe the values and shapes really well. Okay. And since we have um, a brown on our brush. We're painting all this uh, zigzag stripes the both has on the wings. And I'm doing that with a brush that is uh, that has this really nice pointy tip. So we are able to paint details. You can also uh, use a ringer brush for that uh, because ringer brushes really help with painting our outlines and straight lines. Our moth has like this patterns on the wing, so I'm just uh, checking with the reference to make sure I follow all the lines and patterns. Uh, I can share my reference also if you would like to also um, paint the same. Later here I um, can post it. Hello. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got the patterns right. Okay, and also I'm just going to switch brush real quick. And I'm going to grab the ringer brush from the file I made for set, the number 2 because like I said, uh, those are really good brushes for painting lines and you know, especially uh, very, very thin lines. So you're going to see how easy it is here.
so yeah basically right now I'm just filling out all the patterns and later we're going to fill them out with color And I think I'll be also um, doing a mix technique using some glass as well. So, okay, I'm just going to add some black on my palette. Um, those watercolors. Uh, from Zener Supplies, they offer a mixing area, um, but you can also, you know, it always helps uh, if you also have a palette on your table, so you can more uh, easily mix and have all these different uh, colors to fit there. So since here the color has dried. Uh, we are just adding a few more darker brush strokes just to give some uh, depth to the body of our moth. And if you want to paint details, it's always uh, good to not have too much um, water on your brush because otherwise it might turn out to be uh, muddy and a bit messy. So dry brush strokes work best if you want to paint detail. And also if you have like extra uh, water on your brush, there are the sponges and you can, you know, tap your uh, brush and it will absorb all the excess um, water. Okay. So now with the black gouache, I have um, some jelly gouache here. Um, it's my favorite type of gouache uh, because it doesn't really, um, you know, dry out as fast as you know gouache on tubes. And you know, uh, if you spray them um, with some water every time you use them, uh, they will never dry out, and they will always be. Um, very creamy. So. Now we're painting those uh, spots on the moth's wings um, that I told you earlier. It's going to look like um, uh, like the moth has um, eyes on her wings, and that's uh, it's very cool and maybe a little creepy. But I think it's cool. <laughs> okay. So I'm using the square brush from the toner set. And it has this really nice pointy tip so I can paint details with. We're going to paint the bigger circle around those dots. So yeah, slowly we're just filling out all the patterns on the uh, moth's wings. Yay! And you're going to see why I think that moths are way cooler than butterflies. Okay, just being careful not to touch the areas where they're still wet so we won't make a mess. So now I just switch to a smaller brush 
to a round brush from the Fala Miniature Set. Okay, and that's what it's going to look like. Hello. So, they're going to look like eyes. So we're doing this with a uh, black blush. But you know, I have watered it down a little bit. So yeah, it looks like watercolor. And yeah, basically if you add uh, some water to the gouache, um, it's going to turn to watercolor. But also uh, when you're working with gouache, you should always have in mind that uh, gouache reactivates with water. And you know that could cause some some problems if you want to do uh, layering. Okay. So. Okay. So now we have most of the patterns on our month's wings filled out. And I'm I'm also noticing that it has, you know, some uh, brown on the inside of the wings as well. So yeah, mostly uh, we're working uh, with a limited palette. Um, it's like, uh, you know, sepia filter, but I think it's really, uh, really cool. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little um, white gouache to my palette and mix it with the um, brown and black we have here to get a, a light beige color hmm. okay, I think we need a little bit more black here so it will look a bit more grey. And I also need it to be a little bit lighter.
So I'm just painting some with some light brush strokes um, using the round brush from the Tenor collection set from Tenor Supplies. I'm just, you know, um, painting rather lines. So here, gesture uh, is what um, what matters. So yeah, I think uh, this is a really nice and easy uh, subject to paint. Oops. Okay, so we made a um, small, small mistake. And there is nothing uh, we can't fix with some paper towel when it is dry. Well, no. Well. While it is still wet, I want to say. So we add a little bit more water here in this area and we're going to top it just like that. And we're just adding a little bit more water. And now it's finished. So we're good. So yeah, it's uh, when you're painting with watercolors, uh, it's uh, it's really a good idea to always have some paper towel next to you, you know, and you can also tap your brush and absorb the excess water if you don't have any of these um, sponges. So yeah, that always uh, saves a day. So now we're working on the inside wings. Yeah, I think uh, our moth is starting to look uh, nice. Just adding a few brush strokes to give some more detail with this um, darker shade okay Right, and also another pattern that the mod has um, is like this uh, V or you know uh, sort of heart shape. It has it is uh, this really nice um, like burgundy color. If you have any questions, just uh, don't be sad to ask.
so yeah that also you know adds a little color uh to you know this almost monochromatic um palette we uh we have Yeah. Um, take our green brush and some of the dark grayish shade we previously mixed. Um, if you were, uh, would be interested um, in, you know, um, in some giveaways and things like that and special discounts, um, first don't forget to, you know, uh, follow us on Instagram because we might have a giveaway there and you don't want to miss it. And also, you can watch our Amazon Lives, uh, where we also have some special offers, you know, discounts and coupons and giveaways. And I think you don't really want to miss that out either. So yeah, make sure you follow us on Amazon as well. And of course, uh, as you might already know, you can use our houses and our supplies on Instagram. So we can see all your drawings and we can possibly, you know, uh, feature you and comment on your work and everything. Yes, yeah, so don't forget to follow us there. You know, Instagram and Amazon. And, you know, use the hashtag in our supplies, like I said, so we can see your drawings or paintings and your art in general. And of course, you can always um, post uh, here on our Facebook group. Um, your work it's uh, always really nice and very uh, inspiring to see other people's uh, paintings and drawings and skills in general and it's also very uh, helpful and motivating for, for people who are also you know starting out Of course, it's really nice to, you know, be part of a creative community. And be able to, to communicate with uh, people who are creative from all over the world. Of course, uh, it's really nice if you also um, take part to our monthly challenges. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, here on our 
inspiration daily uh, Facebook group um, I recently uh, challenged you people to share your favorite drawings of the past year and it's really good for you as well to you know um, see your progress because you know <clears throat> every time you draw uh, you become a little better and better and better and you know generally uh, practice makes perfect so yeah I'd be really happy to see the drawings you did uh, the past year oops um, check on your progress And you know, we're adding um, finishing touches. To our drawing. Okay. So cool. I really, really like painting more. So I hope you're going to enjoy it too. And as you can see, you know, um, I think it's really easy to do. Even if you're a beginner. And like I said, we're painting with um, a limited palette. So um, yeah, it, it's not like difficult to to mix colors. So exciting, you know. Um, some highlights with some white wash. Here and there. And here. So I don't know, I hope you you like it. So setting you know the finishing pieces. Okay, so we're making sure 
our body, our, not body flaws, our moths, uh, wings are, you know, even. Because like I said at the beginning, they have to be symmetrical. So yeah, I hope you like it. Um, okay, so if you try it out, just don't forget to post it. And yeah, I'm gonna see you at the next live. Thank you very much for joining.